Hey there everyone, this is Liferay, going back to my playthrough of Etrian Odyssey 3. Today we are going to do... We're going to go to the Deep City, get their side of the story, and then we're going to do some other things. Off screen I did a few quests, and also I, I kind of failed the last recording and I had to go back to the last date, and it took me a while to get back, and that's fine. Uh, and I was on a hiatus because I really needed a break, and that's also fine. So let's just quickly stop by, see what we can get. Sculptor's Request, Antagony, neither of which interests me right now. We will do the Sculptor's Request soon enough, once we encounter Lava Beast later on the 11th floor, I think we're on. Let's go over to the Deep City and get their side of this crazy story. Well, we're kind of busy. Well, they, they clearly think it's possible, and I clearly think that's possible. Yeah, but it's not like they're going in with all of the army. Like, who are they going in with? Kadra? And, like, maybe a few armored guards? I, I don't see a problem. Alright, but he wants us to go down and stop their mad plan, and... Armoed wants us to fight for their cause, and etc, etc, etc. We have to go into the third stratum and meet Kajra again, where he will tell us that we have a choice to make, and then we can explore more of the 11th floor. You don't have to make a decision until the beginning of the 12th floor, maybe. So, we can just make our way there right now. I'm going to see you guys down there. Alright, we have returned to the B11th floor. Uh, off screen, I think Kira leveled, and I gave her her level of... What was her name? Protect Order! Durr! Uh, Kajra's gonna tell us that we have a choice, and he's gonna play this awesome song that I will actually be quiet for for a few seconds. You hear that song maybe three times throughout the course of the game. We will hear it again eventually. Let's go down here real quick and unveil that there's a shortcut over here. We can freely explore the rest of the floor. Kadra is not going to stop us any longer. We've said it that for a while, but there is a shortcut here that we should know about. And that's about all that is over here. That shortcut will make getting to the 12th floor that little bit easier. Today, we're going to try to get this one, just to keep it nice and short today. Uh, maybe keeping these episodes in smaller chunks will hopefully make me a little bit more active on keeping up with it. But of course, that's just something I'm going to have to do on my own accord anyhow. I think we're going to Hellfire this set. That's fine with me. We might not even need Darkness Wist if I use this, but I think it's worth using anyway, just in case things... That worked out. Got a Torn Tail. That is the rare drop of the uh, of the Flame Lizard. And we're going to want quite a lot more of it. Uh, it's required for either... Well, it's required for a weapon I know is useful. Maybe it was a Farmer weapon. I don't remember. Uh, it might not be useful if it was a Farmer. I don't remember. All I remember is I gave a pretty good weapon. And we just ran into the set again. So I'm going to see you guys in a bit. Phoebe the 24 getting Darkness Fist to 9 or 10. 10! Right now, the Darkness Fist is doing max damage. That will help a lot. And now it does more than twice the amount of her regular attack, making it pretty much useful all the time. 
and does it to all enemies. And as she levels up and that strength goes higher, that will only become more prevalent as we go. Let's see... Alright, this is... I typically... I'm so used to this just treating this as one giant room, but I have to remember that this mapping style does not treat things as one giant room. It treats this as a series of hallways that you can see over. It, it's, which is why I prefer the other mapping style over this one, but... I do feel like I want to demonstrate both of the styles. Because both of them are perfectly fine ways of mapping the map. Mapping the map is not perfect, is actually not English, but I'm pretty sure that's fine. I'm gonna take the center area road so that we can see where the FOEs are more easily. Not for really for any other reason, it's going to kind of keep us away from the walls, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it isn't in our case on letting us see through it. This just kind of leads to a dead end over there, which is unimportant. And... You can see over the lava again. We can see it does... Something like that. With the corner... Being there. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, so we'll just... Keep it up to that. And that's going to lead directly into this door. Feels so bad for having not updated the series in so long. I so I'm so apologizing for the hiatus, but ever since I actually ha well, now that I have a job and it's actually taking time away from me. And I, I just appreciate my free time that little bit more, and I really did need a hiatus. This is kind of like a, not really a second job, but it's, it takes a bit of effort to put together, and it's not always relaxing. It can be, though. Double flame links. You want to push that? I do not have the binary ice of great justice. So what I'm going to do is, let me set up guard order, because these things threaten to do a lot of damage. Instead of the protect order as well, just to be safe. Uh, fling that darkness fist, charge an etheric, and use the elephant. Actually, if I use the elephant, I'm pretty sure the curse will override it, so we'll just leave it. I'm only going to do that for the front row. I don't feel like it's necessary in a regular fight like this to just spam all the things. Curse, curse, it's... Kill the non-cursed one first. Fling Ice Star at that one, because we're flinging regular attacks at the other guy. Yonopus is not putting everyone to sleep, which is a good thing. That guy is deader than dead. That guy is also deader than dead. And we can auto this guy while the Protect Order and Guard Order keep us safe. Got a flat beak, that's cool. I actually got that in the previous episode, but that had to be scrapped. Uh, well, I did a recording of this, then I had to scrap that recording of this, but my last save state was back at the Hall of Conviction, so that's another reason this took so long, but I don't think that's really as major a reason as I really just needed a break is. Etrian Odyssey Burnout, after all, is a real thing. And we unlocked the shortcut, and I think I said I would finish, but I incorrectly mapped this, or rather I need to cross this. Uh, we can go a little bit further. And that also connects down there, which is also pretty fun. Maybe we can get that treasure chest. Let's see. Really depends. Eh, it's not worth it. This goes... Hook, line, and sinker. We should start running into Lava Beast around now, but we we might not. They're more common on the next floor. Nope, just another double, uh, double links platypus set, which is going to be dealt with in the same fashion. Okay, and there's the Yonopus's go-to-sleep attack, and it actually misses itself. Uh, that happens because, uh, I believe... Well, it, it also tries to inflict the status on itself. And instead of just automatically doing it like you'd think it would, but, uh... Sometimes it puts itself to sleep with that attack as well, but in this, in this case it didn't, which is terrible. 
confused links are usually not problems. Still panicked. Well, we still have a lot of asleep people, which is not helping, but we did eventually kill them, so that's all okay. Alright, that's the route forward. This is the route to that treasure chest I want. Which does this. And it's a wind script, which is really good. Is that the limit skill? I think it is. It's probably, yeah, it's wind tactic. Wind tactic is a great, great defensive skill along with guard tactic. Uh, I typically like it. Wind tactic, I believe, is one of my favorite ones to use. Uh, the evasion increases significant enough that you will notice when that things start missing, and it's really useful, especially in more long-term fights, along with guard tactic, in order to pretty much be as defensive as you can, usually using wind when you're not on uh, guard, and using guard when you're not on wind. It's very neat. We might actually end up going to the, uh, yeah, because we're right here. We may as well. Kind of makes the other shortcut obsolete, but... I'm not complaining. Guardian Ant Flame Lizard set, which is probably one of the easiest sets I've encountered so far. Darkness Fist is actually cost a lot now. Kind of wasn't paying attention to that when I was going back through, but that's okay. Uh, don't yeah, well insects. I don't I, I don't really care at the moment. Gandra to 35, getting attack order to nine. No? I think we're gonna start on arms. Let's do freeze first. Work on the others as we go. This will take us back up to the 10th floor, which is going to give us a nifty shortcut back down. I think there might be an event in here. I don't remember. I don't remember. There's no shortcuts on the northern side. There's the shortcut here, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in the room. Did I remember the Eradney thread? Yes. Use it. Buy another one. It appears I have a coupon in my inventory that I need to take care of. But hey there, everyone. This has been Lifehack. As always, I thank you for watching. Next time, we are going to continue more of the 11th floor, hopefully running into Lava Beast and stuff. And I'm going to see you guys then. Goodbye.